wow, it's over 2 kilometers and I still get like 60 FPS battery smooth video. The new DJI F3 rocks. Yeah, I'm flying the latest DJI Air 3 in Europe. And let's see how well it flies out of the box. And then I will show you how you can unlock this drone and make it fly even better. But the new DJI O4 transmission system is really good. 500 meters and we are still at almost full signal. The video is very smooth. Ok, signal is starting to drop, but I think I just flew behind some trees. Yeah, let me show you the new zoom camera feature. And yes, I'm right behind those trees. Look, a perfect target. Let's follow this track. Let's see how far I will be able to keep it in the shot. We are at one kilometer out of the trees and with a perfect signal now. Two kilometers and still a perfectly smooth video. Ok, the drone is too slow to keep up with the truck in the zoom camera mode. And I'm hitting 1x button but nothing is happening right now. Yeah, switching between cameras might get a bit laggy. Two and a half kilometers. And we start to see the first signs of a push signal. I'm actually pushing the drone backwards now. And I see it the telemetry, but I think we just lost the video. Return to home. Yes, yeah, so it's been two and a half kilometers and some trees in between. I'm all the way back where with some trees blocking the view. So, the drone probably could fly even further, but I'm trying to fly under 120 meters legal height limit. And 2.5 kilometers are more than plenty for any film job. Actually, the bigger thing for me is the smoothness of the video. Shooting with the Air 3 is just a pleasure. And I love that zoom camera capability. And the battery. The drone really can fly for over half an hour on just a single battery. I just want to play with that zoom camera for more while we'll still have some charge left. Do we really need to test the FCC unlock? The DJI Air 3 stock mode is so good. But ok. I have both DJI Fly and Hacked FCC Fly apps on my phone. Links are in the video description. But let's fly stock first. DJI Avatar video crapped out at 100 meters in this location. No issues with the Air 3. Here my Air 2S video starts to stutter at 200 meters, making flying really difficult. We are over 500 meters and some trees and finally we start see the drop of the signal. But let's move a bit higher over those trees and we are at 700 meters. One signal bar and we still get a perfectly smooth 60 FPS video. The amazing part is even on a weak signal the video is so smooth with the air free. And there is no pixelation, no other issues like on the all older DJI drones. 
you can see we are under 90 dB, that means we are in stock European mode. And here we are over 90 dB in full FCC mode with the drone tweaks app. All links are in the video description. So let's fly on the same path. Perfect signal at 100 meters. Perfect over 400 meters. 700 meters and still a full signal. Yeah, definitely the unlock makes a big difference. But on the other hand, I was able to shoot perfectly smooth video even on the last signal bar with a stock app just fine. And I'm getting distracted by that zoom camera again. But let's push forward. One kilometer and some trees and finally we start to lose some signal bars. Oh, and the signal drops really quickly with the air free. It is a perfect video until suddenly you get disconnected at one kilometer. That's what, like only 30% better with the unlock? So yeah, DJI really has fixed all range issues we had in Europe with the new O4 transmission system. But does this mean you should rush to get the air free drone? No. And the reason is you can get air to s drone for half a price and pay like 30 euros to get the unlock app and enjoy even better range unlocked. I have a whole videos about unlocking air to s DJI Avatar and other DJI drones. Same guide works for pretty much any DJI Mini and Mavic drones too. So yeah, DJI Air 3 is not simply overpriced. DJI is pushing for fly more combo if you want to charge the battery outside the drone. And still, you need to buy a wall charger separately. So I have included my recommendations in the links in the description. Wall chargers and power stations for charging DJI drones. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.